Nigerians ready to forgive in the recess? A repentant Boko fighter who voluntarily surrendered to Nigeria soldiers has begged Nigerians to forgive him for his role in the insurgency by the dreaded group which has claimed many lives. The repentant Umar Muhammadu, while confessing to soldiers at the Operation Safe Corridor created by the Nigeria Army to rehabilitate the Boko members who willingly surrendered to the army, said he did not willingly join the set as he was forced by his Islamic teacher to join them. Islamic teacher. You can hear that? Islamic teacher. According to a member of the debriefing team of the Operation Safe Corridor, Captain Victor Dong, Mohammed Wu is from Sokoto State, said he was only 16 and studying under an Islamic cleric when he was forced to join the sect against his wish. Mohammed Wu was sent by his parents to study the Quran with a view of him becoming an Islamic scholar himself, but unknown to them, the teacher they sent their son to was a secret member of Boko, Boko set and had been using his school to recruit members for the group. Can you imagine? Hmm. Captain Dong said the now repentant Mohammed confessed that unknown to him, his teacher was a member of the set and forcefully recruited him and some of his colleagues to join the group after threatening to kill his parents, her, and siblings. If he refused to join, while debriefing the repentance members, Umar Muhammadu confessed that he was forced to join the Boko set by the Islamic teacher he was studying under. Captain Dong began. He said he did not know that his teacher was a member of the set until he brought some men one night and told him and some other students that were going to become Boko fighters. The teacher told Muhammadu and the other boys that they had been specifically or specially selected and groomed to become members of the set because of their deep knowledge of Islam and that they would be rewarded greatly. He said that he did not initially want to join the gang but the man threatened that they would kill his parents and siblings, siblings if he refused to join. They also told him that if he died in the process he would go straight to heaven where there would be 12 virgins waiting to become his wives. Mind you, these are some of the propaganda the Boko fighters feed their new recruits with and the young guys who know next to nothing easily fall for such propaganda. Muhammad Wu said he was just 16 years old when he was forced to join the set. Further narrated that after they were taken to the Sambisa forest in Borno State, he and some other new recruits were placed under a commander who gave them training on how to use guns and make explosives. After some days of training, they were sent out to bomb some communities where many people were killed. Apart from the bombings, they were often sent to go into villages to steal food items, animals and medicines for the group. He also confessed that before they were they went for the op any operation. The commanders will give them hard drugs to take so that they will not have mercy on their victims. They were also told that Christians and any other person who was not a Muslim nor believed in their doctrine was their moral enemy or mortal enemy and must be wiped out from Nigeria. They were made to believe that every that that they were fighting for Allah and that. Anyone who fought for the cause of Allah was going to be rewarded when he dies. Muhammad and other insurgents were captured when we laid an ambush for them in Damaturu UBC and he voluntarily agreed to join the Operation Safe Corridor so that he would be rehabilitated. He has been very cooperative since he came here and has been begging us and Nigerians to forgive him. Hmm. For his role in killing innocent people and has pledged to turn a new leaf if he's left off the hook, Captain Dong concluded. <laughs> okay, very touching story. Very touching story. But uh, my concern again at the end of this story is that the the boy was begging Nigeria, is begging, is begging Nigerians and army to forgive him. So this is how they get their repentance, uh, Boko people. It's unfortunate, of course. If you look at the story, of course, it's really something that uh, it's cause 
it really calls for worries. Uh, that is to say that uh, this teaching they are talking about, that means they need to be careful. That's another thing because I'm sure we have a lot of teachers or a lot of clerics, all these Islamic uh, teachers too, that could be genuine. But that is one thing about uh, this whole thing. If you don't have a, a I don't know, apart from, I, I don't think they should be limited to only this uh, Islamic teaching because if you are vast in other this and nobody will be telling all these uh, children cock and boo stories. Because that's why you see that it's not really thriving in, uh, in in the southern part of the country. Because most of the children are they are well informed. You can't just tell them. Everybody, everybody wants to 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 have a good life. You can't just tell me to go and die for something that I don't even know. If it is that easy, why don't you? You should have. You should, you should have. You shouldn't even be recruiting people. You are supposed to be dying. Those who are telling them all those kind of stories should be the one to have even be enjoying all those uh, twelve virgins and what have you. But no, what are they waiting for? Because that is why the if the children if they are they are getting other education, this is a Western education that is that is their, that they are always condemning, they are always uh, uh, discouraging people to go and because the essence of this whole thing is all about Western education is forbidding, is forbidding. That is why they lure these people, vulnerable children, lure them and deceive them. And they will not be able to think and ask questions that if this person is telling me to, to go and die, then if I thought that you believe that something is good or something good is awaiting me at the other side, why you should have gone first? Why are you? What are you waiting for? Well, they have uh, many things they usually tell them. But according to the story that this uh, Captain Dong is telling us that uh, they, they threaten the boy that if he didn't join them, that they will, they will deal with the parents and siblings. And that was why the boy got to join them and many of them like that many of them like that the the region is not doing well Lou. upon all the whatever they are not doing well at all they are just everybody's concentrating on money 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 we have been saying it the, there's a root cause of this uh, old thing the way it started it's not just cutting it halfway you if you want to get a tree out of out of a particular place you must or put it from the roots you must you're not cutting if you cut it halfway it will germinate again that is the problem they are facing and because of this incident happening in the northern part of the country, some people are, are smiling to the banks. They are really smiling to the banks. Okay, let's hear what people are telling us here. Many people have begged him not to kill them. He refused. So don't waste time. Kill him immediately. Okay. That's what somebody... So this guy personally killed more than 400. Beg families of those you killed. They are breadwinners, loved ones, those you rendered homeless and those you abducted their children. Free, uh, thereafter, beg God for destroying his places of worship, killing his, killing his servants and worshippers. Who did they recruit him to go and fight Christians or Muslims after thought story? Story, story, he did not willingly join the set familiar anthem of the murderers when cornered, of course, their fam their stories are always similar because it's like I've, we've been hearing this kind of a thing over and over again. Someone said, "No, they should not spare him. That nobody's going to forgive him. Send him to U.S. military for more training so he can be the next terrorist, mad president, crazy security that arrests him instead of them to kill him instantly." Buhari created channel for terrorists and also channel to be free at any time. Caught. And you expect terrorists to reduce. Of course, they, they, uh, uh, this <laughs> a, a lot of deeper things are happening in this country. Mohammed was captured and not surrendered to the Nigerian troops. He deserved being punished. First, face the law just like any lawbreaker. Then you shall be forgiven. Ah, uh, he must. We must keep this a book of people now. Mm -hmm. After committing all types of crimes against humanity, and yet. Uh, wants to be forgiven. Wonder shall never end. Okay, not never see anything. Abi, they say, they they say the Nabia Amajuri. Mm -mm -mm. You know what this one is trying to say. Please, sir, I'm using this opportunity to beg dignity and wonderful, and our lovely general Butai to destroy all Boko because Boko are the are disturbing the peace of our good nation. Mohammed had said it all. The Amajuri Malams are responsible for free a feeder system to terrorism in Nigeria. Hmm. 
Mm -mm -mm. This is serious. We are tired of these lies. Lies upon lies. Of course, the captain that is telling us is trying to tell us that uh, he has begged for forgiveness and they will put him back. Of course, they are just telling us they've already made arrangements. You know, okay, it was last month they said about 630 or so, or 650 or 630 will be, will be, will, uh, will repentant or whatever. Maybe those are the people that we are seeing now. So they're just trying to bring this story so that Nigerians, but do you, do you think Nigerians will really buy to all of these things? They're just trying to tell us all these stories so that they will tell us this is the reason why they forgive them or they left them because they have begged for forgiveness. If that is the case, that means every other uh, law of every offender also will be will be forgiven. Let's hear your take, Nigerians. What do you think about this uh, begging of a thing? Please respectfully leave your comments down in the comment section. Thank you.